It's in the cloud. It's in the cloud. Uncle Jay! It's in the cloud! Welcome back to Late Night, everybody. We're here with Daniel Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer, Brandon Perea, director Jordan Peele. That was a clip from Nope. It's about all you want to see in a clip. I feel like you don't want to see much more because yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. not a movie once spoiled uh, before you actually go to the theater. Nope is a wonderful title. How, when did you come up with it? And did you know when you came up with it that you had a winner? It was, yeah, I mean, it was pretty late. I was, I was, I, I, I wrote the movie with a different title in mind. I had different things I was trying out. When I hit Nope, it just made sense because the movie, it just, it's not even a, it's like a concept. You know, it's one of those, yeah. one of those films that I think just sort of needs its own type of title. So yeah, yeah, I knew. <laughs> and I, I remember when he talked about it with us both, and I was like, that's it. You remember that? No, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's I don't remember one bit. I remember I was like, no, it's amazing, no, it's amazing. Yeah. And then he had no, another no. title, and Kiki was like, I like that no, one. I didn't. No, I she didn't. Like this. Like this. Don't, 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 don't tell the secrets. Don't tell. Don't tell the secrets. I didn't know that it was called Nope, and then I saw it like on like the little action clapper board, and I was just like, oh, he's not revealing the title yet. I just did not know it was Nope. And then I heard this conversation. Every day they go to Jordan and they're like, did you come up with the title yet? They would say, nope. Eventually they just started putting it down. Yeah, and it worked out. All right, so you, we talked about this, you are a huge horror fan, but also, do you believe in uh, the sort of extraterrestrial? Absolutely, without a doubt. Okay. Come on, you gotta believe. There's something out there. I mean, they could be out there. Okay. <laughs> Do not besmirch my audience. <laughs> <laughs> they're cool. They're not blowing us up, man. Yeah, that's true. They've been here the whole night. We can't give them a hard time. <laughs> now, you, I, I've heard that you, uh, the existence of koalas informs how you feel about aliens. Yeah, because koalas exist. Yeah. <laughs> so if there's a koala, there's gotta be some other. <laughs> It's like kangaroos. <laughs> it's chihuahuas. They're like weird looking animals. Like, yeah. It's like, if you really look at that, you're weird. They're very weird and they've got weird names. So then you think, what, in Jupiter, they ain't got like a koala, like, <laughs> like a koala like going outside. I just think, like, yeah. If there's kangaroos, they've got to be aliens. <laughs> okay, gotcha. That's a very, I, I, re I respect the science yeah, behind like, this decision. <laughs> Uh, Jordan gave you some uh, film assignments. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. This was, it, what, what were some of the movies he wanted you to watch, Brandon? So the film list that I got on the day I got the job was Close Encounters of the Third Kind, mm -hmm. Jaws, 2001 A Space Odyssey, Alien, and No Country for Old Men. And I was like, what does this mean? <laughs> yeah. And I, so look, I took the job without knowing what the heck the movie was about. There was no synopsis released. A month and a half later, I get a text message from Peel on Christmas Day just being like, Merry Christmas, and it was the script. So I accepted oh. the job not knowing what I was doing, but I was like, it's Jordan Peele, I'm gonna do whatever he wants me to do. And then I read the script and I was just floored. So. I know. I gave him some movies to watch because I had to stall. I had to rewrite the script. <laughs> he did. I had to figure it out. Yeah, some of those are some very long movies, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> very long movies. I was, I was ready to add some. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, 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 you know, I do believe in, UFOs, I'm, I'm just, I want to say that, I, or I, I believe in aliens, mm -hmm. and I believe in life that is not us in this universe. Mm. And I, sometimes I think if aliens came down, like, I would turn on all y'all. <laughs> oh, interesting. Like in a heartbeat, and it, <laughs> it's not, it's not because I don't like you, but I feel like there might be room for like one <laughs> prime human. <laughs> On the alien so planet. he made a movie. <laughs> and so I made a movie, and I would make that move. That's all I'm saying. I don't. Um, no. So you basically made a movie that you'd have to show them if it ever I happened. I just don't know if there's aliens out there. I already don't know whose side I'm on. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's very honest of you I'll to come right out and say it. <laughs> um, uh, so Kiki, I've heard that you based your character Emerald on a couple of people: uh, Marty McFly uh, from Back <laughs> yeah. to the Future and uh, your dad. Yeah. Uh, here's your dad right there. When a hand. My dad's the best. Is that premiere night? 
Literally, that's premiere night. All right, that's great. And I loved his little outfit, his little tie. My dad's the sweetest man in the world, and I really did. Like, I admired my dad all growing up, and my character, she's so cool and confident in who she is, and she also admired her brother and her dad. And so I just felt like, yeah, let's pull from that. That's a nice way to pull from. Uh, Daniel, I've talked on the show that my parents give me uh, feedback on everything I do. They watch every show. I have no complaints, but they do give me notes. Uh, I've heard your mom does the same. She gives me notes. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of notes. A lot of notes. Yeah. And now the difference is, you know, I've got a show tomorrow night, so right, they can give me notes and I can fix it the next night. But like the movie's done. Yeah. I know, so it's not. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> it's like that wasn't. I can't. I can't. I can't reshoot that now. It's like it's released. <laughs> Well, that's, but do you do you like it? I mean, obviously, it's, it comes from a place of love and sport, right? Yeah, it's like, she's actually told me not to talk about her in public anymore. <laughs> she's yeah, like, we'll she's going like, no, don't do that, don't do that. No. But she did, I asked her about, no, and she said no comment. Really? Yeah. Oh, that doesn't so, I'll speak to you later. Oh, speak to you later. I'll speak yeah. to you later. <laughs> She didn't want you exposing her. She didn't want you exposing her. She knows what I'm like. She yeah. did it after the press run. Oh, I see. Right. Maybe in September, I'll get a review. There you go. And then... Um, uh, Brandy, you have a special uh, skill. It did not turn up in the film. But this is yeah. an incredible piece of trivia about you uh, that I found out today. Um, you, were th you were the youngest professional roller skater. Mm. I, I don't break know... Breakdances on roller skates, yeah. So okay. I turned pro at the youngest age. I think I turned pro at at 14 years old, and no one has done that. And I mean, breakdancing on roller skates is very, it's a tiny sport. People yeah. play ping pong on a tennis court far more than they breakdance on roller skates. Okay, gotcha. So it's a very niche So you are thing. a professional breakdancing roller skater? Yeah. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, so I break I it out. Yeah, 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 hey, hey. It was good. So I, 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 can do some, I can do some things. I can do some we things. We were actually, we uh, heard that you could do a backflip. Yeah, I could do a backflip. But yeah. we were also told uh, when I asked the producer, they said, don't let him because okay. of insurance. It's fine. It's and fine. I'm, I shouldn't say this, but our cue card guy already fell today. Oh, no. Oh, my. You're right. Is that him? You're right. Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> Are you from, uh, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, 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 right. Don't take your mask yeah, off, yeah, Wally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the SNL host knows me. I gotta take my mask off. <laughs> well, we, there, there's video clips, so I, I can right, prove video, it. I can, all right, so everybody, we yeah, can go yeah. uh, watch video clips of uh, Brandon doing it, where we are not uh, at liability. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so please watch and enjoy those, <laughs> and uh, we will be right back with more Late Night, everybody.